All right, guys, it is Saturday night, and I am so excited to tell you that Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirts are now available. That's right, you can get your very own Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirt right here, right now, on my new website, which I'm going to tell you all about in just a minute. But first, let's talk about tonight's movie. Guys, I absolutely love tonight's movie so much that we are doing a double feature. Tonight we are not only watching Goosebumps 1, but we are also watching Goosebumps 2. Now in my personal opinion, I think that Goosebumps 2 is a little bit more Halloween-y, but they're both totally awesome. So we're going to watch them both tonight. And we are going to have an awesome snack, which is something that I've wanted to make for quite a while now, and we are calling it Spooky spaghetti. Now I'm also going to tell you all about the spooky spaghetti in just a minute here, but first... Okay, so here's what we have going on right here, guys. I've got my press set up right here in the home theater, the home movie rental store, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> where it all goes down when we have Saturday night snack and a movie. I have nine shirts here I'm going to print. I just got orders for these today. We've got the t-shirt transfers here, the heat press here. Over here in the office, I have this temporary setup with all these shirts. I got all these shirts just to get everything started. I have a whole bunch more on order. I have about 300 of these t-shirt transfers that I ordered to be specially printed from a local company. I have the orange bags that I'm gonna be using to ship these out. We have these uh, tags right here. Hold on, let me get some light here. There you go, you can see it a little bit better there. We have the tag right there where I sign right across the shirt. The back of it has the Nate guy on YouTube, uh, I don't know, logo or profile, whatever you want to call that. And I have a little stack of packing slips here for the orders that need to go out. Now I set all this up to do from home, first and foremost, so that it would be more of a personal experience for you guys, because I want you all wearing these shirts on Saturday nights so you can join in the fun while we watch these movies. I was using a company called Teespring to fulfill my t-shirt orders. And they started taking weeks and then months to ship things out, and that's just ridiculous and not acceptable. So with me doing this myself, yes, it takes a little bit more work on my part, but I like that whole thing of it being inclusive with you guys. And as orders come in, I can get them out just that quick. So you order this shirt today, and you should have it within about a week. Not to mention that it comes with the awesome signed tag right from me. Now I only have about 150 shirts on this table back here to get started. They range all the way from toddler up to like 4XL adult. I grabbed a whole bunch of each color and each size. If they sell out and you're trying to buy something that's not in stock, just send me a message, let me know what you're waiting for, and I will get it to you as quickly as I possibly can. It can be as quick as me running right down to Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby and finding the shirt you need, getting it printed, and shipping it out that day. And like I said, this website just went up today, and I want to give a special shout out to the first five people who ordered. The first one is Whitney, thank you so much. Then we have Channing, thank you so much. Then we have Heather, thank you so much. We have Chad, thank Thank you so much. And we have Jackson. Thank you so much. The shirts that you guys see right here, right now, are your shirts, and I'm about to print them right here for you to see.
And let me just point out that while you're watching me print these, the iron over here is 386 degrees. So while I pull the shirts off, some of them look like they have a big dark square on them. That especially happens with the red, but as you can see, as they cool down, that goes away. When you get your shirts, you will still see a square shape on here though, because now there's a big 18 inch square that has been ironed and this part down here has not. <laughs> And there you go. Check the box for Fan Mail Friday and get on the road. It is Wednesday night. You guys may even have those shirts by the time you see this video. Okay guys, now for this snack that we are calling Spooky Spaghetti. Like I said, this is something that I've been wanting to make for quite a while now. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some spaghetti. Now, I just happen to have linguine. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I bought it, but I bought linguine instead of just regular spaghetti. <laughs> but anyways, you need at least spaghetti. You can use linguine. You can use fettuccine. You can use any kind of pasta you want. But it wouldn't be spooky spaghetti if you didn't use spaghetti or linguine. Anyways, you need one of these. What the heck is this thing called? You need some kind of a stock pot or whatever to cook your spaghetti in. Ooh, that echoes. Kinda spooky. You need a strainer. You need one of these, a wooden spoon, and you need some tongers. You need some Ziploc bags. Now I have gallon Ziploc bags. And you need food coloring. So if you haven't figured it out yet, what we're gonna do is we are going to make our spaghetti and then when it's done, we're going to color our spaghetti. That's what the food coloring is for and that's what the bags are for. So I filled up my pot with water. We're gonna turn it on to high and let that boil. Meanwhile, while I was preparing, I had a delivery. We just got Youth XL White and black shirts in. So if you're one that was waiting for the Youth XLs to come in, after this video, jump on over to the website and grab you some. Okay, our water is now boiling, so we're gonna add our spaghetti. Now you can break this up if you want to. I'm gonna leave these long, sift them in there because we don't want them to stick together. Well, you know, you guys have probably made spaghetti before. That is hot. And it's hot too. Make sure it doesn't stick together. Look at that, it's like a bubbling cauldron. We should add some dead man's toes. Oh my gosh, we should have made meatballs in the shape of dead man's toes. <laughs> That's one thing that I love about doing this, is even when I make something as simple as this, like you guys will come onto the Facebook page and post your pictures and your videos of things that you have made. And it never fails. People always tweak it and modify it a little bit. I would bet. In fact, I challenge you, someone out there, to make meatballs in the shape of dead man's toes to have with spooky spaghetti. Okay, that looks about the way that I like it. So let's turn that off and take it over to the sink. Don't wanna forget these. Super hot. 
All right, we need to strain it. All right, so the next thing that we need to do, we have four bags here. I don't know if we're gonna use them all. I think we are. Now, where I saw how to do this online, they had four bags because they were making four different colors of the, uh, the spaghetti. But what I wanna do is I wanna make orange, green, and purple. So we need to put only a little bit of water in each of these bags, about three tablespoons. One, two, three. And then we put our colors. Now, it says to put 40 drops of the colors in. For our orange, we're gonna use 20 yellow and 20 red. Okay, there's yellow. There's red, swish it around so it makes orange. And then we're just gonna put some of the spaghetti in this bag. And we're gonna repeat that for each of the other ones for each color. So grab your tongers. There's a lot of spaghetti. Zip it up. I'm gonna make sure that we get the, the color all over the spaghetti. That is super hot too. All right, so there's one. That's gonna soak in there while we work on the next color. And the next color is gonna be purple because purple is a halloween -y color. One, two, three tablespoons of water, 20 drops of red, 20 drops of blue. Swish it around a little bit. Grab a gob of spaghetti, maybe a little bigger gob. Look at that, it all wants to stick together. <laughs> okay. Zip it, flip it, get it all covered. Massage it in there a little bit. That's going to be our purple. It's looking more blue right now at the moment, but in the end it's going to be awesome. And then we want green because green is a very Halloween-y color too. You know, like green witch faces. One, two, three, 40 drops of green. And a gob of spaghetti. Get a little wet there again so it doesn't stick together so bad. Zip it, flip it. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm so excited for colored spaghetti, guys. Green, purple, orange. And you know what? We got a tiny bit left in there. Let's do red. Okay. Okay, now we gotta let those sit for at least five minutes each. So I'm gonna do my cleanup while we are waiting. This just got a whole lot better. We got our sauce, which I'm gonna pour into the pan here. The pan, the witch's cauldron. Is that how a witch cackles? What the heck? <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not a witch because I don't know how to cackle. But what I do know how to do is add dead man's toes. Look at this, I forgot. We had hot dogs in the fridge. We're gonna cut a couple of these up and make dead man's toes. That's right, dead man's toes. It was too good of an idea to not do it. Foot long, who's got the foot long? Now, let's see, that's about toe size right there. Dead man's toes, they're not children's toes. Let's just give them a couple of children's toes. All right, there we go. Dunk the dead man's toes right in. Dead man's toes. <laughs> okay, while that is warming up, we are gonna take a look at our spaghetti here. And look at that. That is, it's probably more red than orange, but it is orangey looking. We have the purple, which looks more black than anything. The green, oh, that's really turning out good. And then we have the red, which is straight up red. So I'm gonna put some gloves on to take some of this out because I don't want my hands, you can already see I've got a little bit of stain on there. And if you don't put on gloves to take this out, it's gonna be all over your hands and food coloring stains immediately. So I might even be ruining my shirt here. I probably should have changed my shirt first. So let's start with the red. And we're just gonna put a little bit in the bowl of each so you can see the colors. Yeah, there's the red, here's the green. Look at that, how cool is that? Here comes the orange. And yeah, it looks a lot more red than orange, so I probably needed more, um, more yellow in that one. You can see the red there, it's darker. 
but that definitely needed more yellow. And then we got the purple here, which actually looks, wow. The purple just looks black. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now here's another thing. I believe, and I didn't read the directions first, but I believe we're supposed to be straining each of these now. Okay guys, so I went ahead and rinsed all the noodles. Here they are, and as you can see, they did not lose their color at all. This is the orange, like I said, that needed probably some more uh, yellow in there. Look at the green, the purple, and then this is the red here. And there's a slight difference between the red and the orange, but yeah, make that a little more orangey. Add some more yellow and a little less red, and you will be good to go. Just make sure you're very conscious of what you're doing, because working with so much food coloring, it gets everywhere. And it looks like our sauce with our dead man's toes is just about ready. Oh my gosh, just think about that as toes in there. What the heck, what is wrong with us? Yeah, us, you're in on this too. All right guys, there we go. Spooky spaghetti with dead man's toes. Look at that, how cool does that look? <laughs> I think the green is my favorite color in there. That is so crazy. All right, let's just give it a little taste here because I know you guys are dying to know how the spooky spaghetti tastes. Ugh, wow, it's all sticking. We gotta get a little bit of sauce on it. All right, let's get a dead man's toe. All right, there we go. Spooky spaghetti with a dead man's toe. Mm, 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 mm. I never imagined it would taste so good. No wonder witches eat this stuff. Look at that. that is such a funny picture right there. <laughs> Spooky spaghetti with dead man's toes. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. You can cast that spell on me any day. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to kick back, watch my double feature of Goosebumps and Goosebumps 2. Yeah, something like that. And indulge in my spooky spaghetti with dead man's toes.